ABC's General Hospital School revealed that Brando's death caused Sasha to collapse. Upon receiving this news, Sasha was deeply saddened to see such a scene. Even Sasha breaks up with Brando, she always hopes that she can live a good and happy life. Not forever and able to see each other like this, Brando has always been Sasha's world. He's her only relative, so it's impossible to describe how she feels right now. Previously, Brando and Sasha had quarreled and could not get along because they didn't understand each other. But she always hoped that he could be happy if he left her. So Sasha said malicious words to him to let him break up with her. Now Sasha regrets it terribly, regrets being harsh on him, and regrets letting him go like this. How should Sasha live before Brando's departure? How can she get through this? And can anyone get Sasha out of her grief? What will happen? Meanwhile, everyone in Port Charles hopes to catch this ruthless killer soon. Moreover, he will soon continue to kill people if not caught. At this moment, everyone is extremely scared when they may be the next target of the assassin. Chase, like everyone else, is furious at the killer's frenzied actions, but now that Chase can't do anything when he's no longer a police officer, he desperately wants to be a policeman again to punish his evil assassin. More than anyone, Chase now clearly feels his passion, integrity, and honesty and want to protect everyone. Chase realized that he wanted to be a policeman most of all, even though being a senior was his favorite job. He couldn't be more than a policeman. Chase was helpless when he couldn't help everyone catch the killer. He was very upset about this. Is there any chance for Chase to go back to being a cop? Besides, Brandon's funeral will take place soon. Chase is very sad for Sasha and wants to visit her. Chase understands how important Brando is to Sasha and knows how much she will grieve and wants to comfort her so she can get through this. Chase previously had feelings for Sasha. But seeing that she and Brando were in love, he silently blessed her and forgot about this emotional part. After Chase met Brooke and fell in love with her, this journey was not very positive, when the two of them still couldn't come together. Now seeing poor Sasha like that made the feelings that Chase tried to get forget before he, him come back. It's also possible that his love for Brooke is not big enough to be moved and remember his previous feelings for Sasha. Maybe Brando's death gives Chase and Sasha some unexpected development. Is there any chance that Chase and Sasha will come together after this meeting? Sasha, with Chase's comfort, is also gradually settling down and grieving less. There were also close friends who came to comfort Sasha, but no one really understood her feelings, and it only made her sadder. Only Chase can make Sasha feel comfortable and make her happier before Brando's death. Perhaps Brando's death gave Sasha a new man, Chase, who could replace Brando and take good care of Sasha the rest of the time. Did Sasha and Brando develop feelings for each other after contact? Will Chase forget his feelings for Brooke and choose Sasha? Will Sasha have a new spiritual support after Brando dies, and how will things turn out?